I'm Vicki Papano from Aussie Stampers. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make a traveler's notebook insert using some designer paper and some cards from the, oh, what are they called? Memories and More Petal Passion Pack. So all you need to create this insert are a few sheets of paper and I'm going to use these cards to decorate the outside. And I think I'll use this black card that I have in front of me that says, love big, love much. Yes, I like that one. So I think I'll use that on the front. And I'm going to use all those cards all the way through this album when I come to decorating it. But today I'm just going to show you how to make the insert. And then in a follow-up video, I'll show you how I decorate the pages. So it's going to look somewhat like this, just cut down. This is how the book will operate. And what I've decided to do is put the papers together in a way that I really like them. So I have a floral and a graphic, and then I have a vine and a floral, and then I have a floral and a graphic, and this will be the middle page. So those pages will look the same. And I've arranged it in a way that I just think looks pretty good. So you can arrange your papers however you like. You can use whatever scrapbook papers you have, but I happen to be using this. Now the measurements for this are a little bit tricky. Just there's a slight difference between the top and the side. So the, the length of it will be 21 centimetres and the width across the top will be 22 centimetres. So I'm going to cut across this top piece for 22 centimetres. And so that's going to be how the book stands upright as in, oh, how would you say that? That's in portrait fashion. So 20, 22 centimetres across the top <laughs> and cut all the pieces 22 centimetres from the top. Make sure you're keeping them right way up, otherwise you'll cut against the grain and then when you go to put the book together, your pieces of paper may be upside down or sideways. So I'm just going to run through all those pieces. So I have three, four, how many pieces did I use? I'm just going to have a look at my book and see. Yep, four pieces. One, two, three, four pieces, yep. Now I'm turning it sideways and I'm going to cut off at the 21 centimetre mark. So it's this is slightly smaller when you trim the other side. So it's, it was 22 centimetres from the top, it's 21 centimetres from the side. Now I've done this measurement because it happens to fit into my cover for my traveller's notebook. You may have a different size cover or you may just want to use this as a standalone book, which is fine too. You don't really need to have a cover for these at all if you don't want to. So just double check that you've got them all laid out the right way and then fold them where you're going to have the spine. And again, make sure you don't turn them sideways or upside down or you're going to be in trouble here. So I'm just taking my bone folder and folding them all in half. And then I'm going to stack them inside each other how I'd like them to look. Now, if you haven't heard of Traveller's Notebooks, they're a beautiful way of memory keeping or also a beautiful way to have a planner. I love planning and I love making lists. And I used to have a Filofax when I was um, a bit younger and I absolutely love that thing. I took it everywhere I went and I love the size of these because they can fit into your handbag. They're big enough that you can put lots of information into. You can use them as a memory keeping album or you can use them for lists, you can use them for all kinds of things. So I'm just clipping those pages together because what I want to do now is staple the spine. And this is the same way that I stapled my 2018 diary that I made in a previous video. I did exactly the same. And I'm just measuring in from the edge of my steel edge ruler here, four centimeters to five centimeters on the left. And then I'm measuring across to 16 centimetres and 17 centimetres on the right because the staples I'm using are half inch staples. So I would recommend that you use nice big staples if you can. Mini staples are going to be much harder to work with. The half inch staples, which is 
generally I think it's the regular size in Australia it is anyway for staples and now I'm going to bring in my awl or a paper piercing tool and you can see I'm really going to give it a thorough grinding into my craft mat. Now you'll need to have a craft mat under you otherwise you will destroy your work surface so make sure you have a craft mat. I like this craft mat it was about five dollars I picked it up at Kmart and I ended up buying about 10 of them for when I run classes everybody has one of these mats under them. So these are the staples and the best way to separate the staples it can be quite difficult to separate two individual staples is to stick them upside down like this and just use your awl or your paper piercer to just flick them apart then once you've flicked off two staples you're good to go. <laughs> so now I'm just going to make sure that hole has gone all the way through and it has on both the pieces just giving it a little bit more wiggle room for those staplers to go in and then you want to put your staple through from the spine from the front and back covers so whatever you've chosen for your front and back covers that's where you put the staple through and that way the inside of the staple is on the, the center page of the book. Now you can flatten them with your fingers but I like to bring in my scissors and really give them a nice professional looking press so it all looks neat and tidy. <laughs> Here's the second one, same process and then just flip it over and flatten it and give it a thorough press with your scissors and these pages are perfectly secure now. So there's your book. Give it a bit of a crease along the spine and I'm going to trim off the outside edges now. So I brought back in my steel edge and my craft knife. You could use a box cutter or you could use any kind of sharp cutting tool for this. Just be very careful of your fingers. And just go through one layer of paper at a time. It's almost impossible to cut through all the layers at once so just take your time with it. You can see I'm peeling off that top layer each time and I didn't quite start at the beginning with this piece so you'll see I have a little <laughs> a little knobby bit at the end. I'm just going to have to go back and fix that. There we go. That's it. All right sorted. Okay, so there's your book all nicely trimmed. Now all that's left to do is to decorate the front. So this is a pretty simple decoration on it. And the paper itself is just so gorgeous that I just didn't want to put anything that would compete with it. So I love this card, which is from the, uh, let me say the words again, uh, let me think. Oh, Petal Passion. Petal Passion Memories of More Pack. And it coordinates with the petal passion suite of papers and there it is so come back for the next video and I'll show you how I decorate the inside I'm going to show you some different ways to make inserts all different insides as well some will have plain paper some will have watercolor paper some will have a mixture of this color and white paper and you can use them as planners and I'll show you how to use this as a planner as well as memory keeping and I hope you enjoyed the project if you did Remember to subscribe, thumbs up, leave me a comment and share this with your friends. If you'd like to join our Stampers Facebook group, the link is below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.